Hello and welcome to Inside Indiana Business. I'm Gary Dick. We begin this week with more evidence of transformational growth and change in Northwest Indiana, specifically Valparaiso. The county seat of Porter County, Valpo, is a city of about 35,000, situated along US 30, just east of Merrillville and about 20 minutes or so south of the shores of Lake Michigan. It is uh, also about a 30 minute drive or so to the loop in Chicago. It's perhaps best known for Valparaiso University and its iconic Chapel of the Resurrection. And sports is a big part of the city's image too. It's to Jenkins, the Drew for the win! Gone! Oh! He did it! Who can forget that unforgettable be uh, buzzer beater in the first round of the 1998 NCAA tournament? Bryce Drew hitting that game winning three pointer to beat Ole Miss. The Drew family coaching tree now a point of pride in Valpo and from their hardwood to hardwood Valpo home to Hoosier Bat Company, the third oldest wood bat company in the world, providing lumber to big name major leaguers, including former Cub slugger Sammy Sosa. Now Valparaiso is making headlines for multiple major projects that stand to transform the city. And joining me now with the tales is Valparaiso Mayor Matt Murphy. Mayor, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Gary. A lot going on uh, in Valpo. I think more generally in Northwest Indiana, but specifically in your city, a number of big projects. We'll get to that in a second. But first, to set the stage, this is part of a process that's been going on for some time. And a number of years ago, downtown in that area was, was struggling a bit. Yeah, our downtown was really, uh, had, had a high vacancy rate for, for a long time. And my predecessor, Mayor Costas, came in and you know, said enough is enough, we need to turn that around. And so uh, in 2003, he began that process and, and through facade grants and special liquor licenses, we've become sort of a dining destination for Northwest Indiana and seen tremendous vibrancy, but uh, we want to keep it going. He, he inherited a downtown that was struggling and I inherited a strong one. We want to take it to the next level. Let's talk about some of these projects because they are substantial. One is the Journeyman Distillery, $30 million uh, development. A Valpo native, right, is putting that together. Yeah, it's a great story. Bill Welter grew up in Valpo uh, and he uh, uh, built the Journeyman Distillery in Three Oaks, Michigan. Uh, we had a 170,000 square foot behemoth old factory, Anko Wiper Blade factory near our downtown. Didn't know what to do with it and um, Bill Welter uh, brought to us the idea of, of, of creating another Journeyman Distillery right in the heart of our downtown. What do you think that can mean in terms of, of, of tourism traffic? Yeah, they, they estimate, Gary, that uh, we're going to see 150,000 to 200,000 visitors each year to the Journeyman, and uh, we see tremendous uh, overflowing uh, benefits to that to our downtown as well. Other projects, the Link is a, uh, a mixed-use development, residential development, again, about a $30 million project right in the heart of downtown, too. Yeah, we're excited. The Link is a 121-unit uh, residential project, Class A apartments. Um, it's going to be three four-story buildings uh, constructed in our downtown by the Hageman Group out of Carmel. We're really excited about that, um, and um, that'll bring tremendous vibrancy. Um, People living downtown is important. Uh, we want to create a, a downtown with high density housing to support the retail mm -hmm. scene and keep the businesses and restaurants vibrant. Yeah, you're going to have a major parking garage there as well and a boutique hotel, the Grand Gardner Hotel, which will add uh, uh, a bit of ambiance, if you will, to downtown. Yeah, we have an old school that was built in the 1890s in a Romanesque uh, architecture. Um, in 1972, the school uh, closed and it was operating uh, Boys and Girls Club until this year. The Boys and Girls Club built a new club and Urschel Development acquired it and they have plans to build a 58 to 60 room boutique hotel just steps from Journeyman. Yeah, and not that there's not enough going on already, but you just announced plans for a $30 million uh, sports and recreation campus, 250 acre park. Yeah, we, right? we acquired about 250 acres uh, last year. Uh, we're going to we're gonna not use all the property, uh, but we're going to build seven multi-use fields and uh, the, the hope is to obviously have a great Valparaiso Parks and Recreation uh, facilities for our, for our kids and our, and our families, but also to host tournaments and events and be a draw to from other communities. What's the impact already that you're feeling? I talk with people in Valpo in Northwest Indiana, talk about people moving from Illinois and saying, hey, we can work in downtown Chicago, come to lower taxes, better quality of life, live in Indiana, live in Valpo, yeah. and have an easy connection to Chicago. Absolutely, we're, we're seeing it uh, already, uh, seeing folks move in, move across the, the state line and enjoy high quality life, safe communities, great public schools. Valpo's got an excellent K through 12 public school system, also great private schools. 
Um, so we're, we're, we're seeing it. We also have a, we have a transit um, department. We've got for now four buses going in and out of the loop every day. Mm -hmm. We were at six, the pandemic hit, mm -hmm. that took a, took a hit, but uh, we're slowly getting back up uh, to being the only city in Northwest Indiana that's got a transit in Chicago. Yeah, only have about 30 seconds left, but do you sense this as kind of a tipping point for Northwest Indiana with what's going on in Valpo and some other communities? And then on top of that, the South Shore extension and, and all the things, the double tracking going on. Yeah, the double tracking is going to have a tremendous impact on, on the entire region. And, uh, you know, uh, we see we've got, we've got a bright future in Northwest Indiana. I think for the, the in terms of economics, uh, the second uh, biggest economic uh, output in the state of Indiana with all the steel mills and all the mm -hmm. manufacturing. So there's a lot of good stuff going on. Mayor Matt Murphy uh, from the city of Valparaiso. Uh, Mayor, thanks for joining us. I know we'll be doing more in the future. Right. Thank you. Thanks, Gary. All right. Well, as we mentioned earlier, the king of popcorn has also helped put Valpo on the map. Brazil, Indiana native and Purdue grad Orville Redenbacher built his popcorn empire just south of Valpo in Boone Grove. Redenbacher leaned on a Chicago ad agency to help him market what became a global brand. So I talked for about three hours, went back a week later, and they said we come up with the name of Orville Rennenbacher, which is the same identical name my mother thought of 84 years ago. <laughs> Valpo still celebrates Redenbacher. Its annual popcorn festival marked 43 years last